We have had over the course of the last uh, month some shooting incidences along Highway 3. And uh, when I say the last month, most of them have happened within the last 10 to 12 days. It's totaled about 14 or 15 different um, situations and with about 9 or 10 different residencies. What's happened is we've been getting reports that someone has been traveling Highway 3 and has been sh have been shooting uh, a weapon either out the window or, or somewhere outside, outside, we believe, the vehicle into different residences. And what's concerned me over the last couple of weeks, over the last week or so, is the fact that uh, these bullet rounds have been located and found inside the residence. They're not only penetrating the windows, the siding, uh, there's been a vehicle that's been involved, but they're going through those windows and they're lodging inside the residence itself. One of the instances that we've had is a gentleman sits in a particular lounge chair each evening and one of those rounds went within six inches of him. He wasn't sitting in it at the time, but could have been. We think maybe the timetable is somewhere around the early morning hours. I'd probably bracket it to be midnight to 6 a.m. I believe that they're random. I don't think that there's any one individual that's being selected or pointed out. And um, so we're looking for people who might be traveling Highway 3, early morning hours, any time of the day really that uh, have seen something suspicious happening. Vehicle pulled over to the side of the road. Um, anything that they notice that is out of the ordinary from what they normally see on their morning travels or their late morning travels or their early evening travels or whatever it may be on Highway 3. Between Lamar's and three miles west of the K-22 junction is, is where all uh, 12 of these residences have uh, been hit. We're looking for your help to see whether or not there's anyone out there that can uh, give us some information that will lead us to who's ever doing, is doing this. At this present time, we don't have a vehicle description. We don't know for sure um, when it's happening. A lot of the reports we're getting are after the fact.